Okay, we'll that. start with Burkus. Um, so yeah. Burkus submitted this yesterday at 341. Uh, what answers to previous questions or topics have you changed your mind on? And you said for you, uh, do you want to just say it? Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I passed over this, but the Browns, like modern set that I just switched away from needs to be on my uh, underrated list. I guess more accurately, an overhated list. Fair. Yeah, it's, it's not rated at all. <laughs> like those those jerseys are, I think, really good. Like I think they're better than their retros they went back to. I will. I will let you have your opinion. Yeah, and that's all. <laughs> um, for me, I think one that I'm consistently proven wrong these days is my initial hatred for the Flames uh, retro set. Um, I know early on, or not even early on, well on. Um, I had spoken that I thought it was not not the best move and arguably a downgrade from their previous ones. Which well, I, I suppose was it was thing. early on in, ter- in the lifespan of that as a fair, white one of the red. They're, they're beautiful. The they're awesome. Um, I thought the red on yellow didn't look great initially, but it, it works. Um, another one which blows me away thinking about it now, especially looking back at our drafts. I remember when we did our podcast post Sabres jersey unveil we were all pretty eh on them. Yeah. Um, and especially the road and it's, it's been, so yeah, if you go back and listen to it, um, we like <laughs> the color themselves. Not really. And I think, huh. I think they have possibly the best, uh, definitely one of the best, if not the best Jersey set in the league. And I think their road Jersey is my single favorite NHL Jersey at this point. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to, I'm just going to uh-huh. uh, hijack real quick and say that that was on there for me. The Sabres, mainly the inconsistency on the road Jersey with yeah. the yellow and blue stripes being flip flopped. I still, you know, think it would be better consistent, but it's less of an issue to me now than it was whenever they were oh. unveiled and, whenever I learned that that was a thing because, yeah. you know, they used basically that in 2008. I'm, I'm, still, I'm still in this. I'm still in this. <laughs> Arcus is still in this, everybody. <laughs> uh, no, I stopped that and I'm doing something else. Oh. Uh, Arcus, you're not uh, muted if you thought you were. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, another uh, one, another one. Okay, yeah, you go ahead. The, uh, the Kraken jerseys? Um mm. I liked them a lot more when they were unveiled than I do now. Um, I don't think they're bad, but I think they're overrated for sure. Um, I think I can agree I with you on that. And a lot of it's probably just, hey, new shiny. Yeah, Not exactly. Shiny. Vegas is the new shiny, but you get the point. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Beepo, what do you got? I've been talking too much. There's a couple that I've got, and I guess it's less from the duration of this podcast because i couldn't think of a ton without going back and listening to older episodes but rather i guess opinions that i had whenever i was a little bit more younger i guess or like you know maybe hjc era as a writer like 2015 16 or something like that for one the kachina like i've said how much i dislike that one um the contrast is brutal on tv it just looks plain black and like the the white jersey it just the the any the color it all just looks black the Kachina pattern itself is fantastic and should be part of the Coyotes jerseys, but yeah. the rest of it needs a rework, mainly in colors and color balance. Um, the Spaghetti yeah. Skate uh, Canucks jersey, it's way overrated because, it's off. Um, <laughs> again, it's mainly a black jersey, which doesn't add a lot of color. The stripes are a nice pop, but the problem is the two stripes there blend together, the red and the yellow or whatever you want to call it, because uh, it's like a weird red orange kind, kind of thing, or at least it appears to be to me um they just blend together too much for me to like it enough it could have a lot of potential if you add some more color in there separate the color somehow but as it is yeah um i mentioned the savers road and the other one is this one's actually more from the duration of the podcast it's the coyotes previous home and road jerseys yeah they're awesome yeah that that preceded the kachina throwback and while I, i never hated them I wasn't a huge fan of them much at all no. until Justin started talking about them. And the more I look so at them, good. the more I hear about it's them. So like, hey, they really grew on me. And again, I don't think they're perfect. I think they could, they have room for improvement as I mean, honestly, pretty much any Jersey does. Um, but they are, especially now that we're missing them. Oh boy. It's, you know, don't know what yeah. we had until we lost it. Um, awesome. And honestly, can... like they're look, the Kachina logo is cool for what it is, but it's not. A, I don't think it's great as a logo. It's a little bit too small and intricate and detailed. Um, the head on its own, fine. I could deal with that. 
But the Howling Coyote logo is honestly really good, and I don't understand why more people don't like it. It's rendered really well. I think it's still got some Kachina influence yeah. in there. So the, the I think, I think that whole Coyotes era is underrated. Even like the yeah. original switch to that and the plain red and white. The white one that's yeah. just like brick red and white, or the white version. They're boring. With, I mean, there's not they're a little boring, there. but I think they look good. Um, yeah, it, it's better on the white jersey because you have the pants for contrast. But yeah, um, I think that's about all I got for now. I'm sure I'll remember yeah. something eventually. But the um, hybrid logo that Lucas Deitchman, I think is how you pronounce it, did is for the Coyotes. Is it's really funny. Good. I work with him, and I think I, I watched the aesthetics video recently. Um, and also, Lucas, if you happen to be listening to this thing, so the shout out there. Um, <laughs> I, I heard it there, and I was like, that's how you pronounce it? And I forget what it is. I'm sorry, Lucas. I'm sorry. Thank you, Lucas, and I'm sorry for forgetting how to pronounce it. When we had Matt McElroy name. on and we introduced him, I was like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't know if it's McElroy or McElroy wow. or whatever. It is. Apparently, it's Matt McElroy, which always okay. throws me off. Um, yeah, another I, one... I apologize to you as well, Matt. Another one that I've changed my opinion on, and I'm shocked with how quickly it is, actually, is the Penguin's alt. Um, their their diagonal script throwback whatever and when it came out I was very much like they don't need a black all like we've already seen this so so recently with the reverse retro why are we doing this kind of thing like it's a good jersey but why it's such a good jersey oh my gosh every time I see it mm-hmm. in a game like I'm blown away to like I would I I would love for it to be a full time all again I know me and people are bombed, beating the drum of of a gold penguins yeah. home but like that even even with like I was thinking back and like. I prefer their current three jersey setup, even with two black jerseys, to their one last season when they had the the gold alt that I know Beepo was a big fan of, and I yeah, didn't. You thing. know, I liked that it was gold, but I didn't care for the jersey itself that much. I definitely disagree. I will say the current alternate has grown on me. Not that it had too much growing to do, but sure. it's it's in a weird area where it is different enough from the home jersey to work, but also like literally hem down it's exactly the same so it's not different enough and like yeah. if you're looking at only the back of the jersey literally the entire back of the jersey down is exactly the same basically maybe collar wise if you ignore the sleeves like cut yeah, off the sleeves you got a vest it's the same on the very back all velcro the way down number velcro vest hem velcro vest <laughs> Vel- velcro back um, yeah. but yeah i mean it's fine I-, I just don't i don't know i'd rather still have the yellow home with it but oh, yeah. if it's going to be anything, I'm glad it's an alternate at least. Yeah. 